Okay. Um, this week, next one is the Rule Dungeon, book number one, A New Dungeon Mind. Um, book number one, A New Dungeon Mind. There we go. Uh, I forgot to put who the author is. It is Christian Alex Brainstein. Um, yeah, Brainstein. Um, it is 60 pages. It's a short story, $1.49 to purchase, available on Kindle Limited. Um, here's the author's description. This is a living dungeon little regime. A new dungeon mind is born and seeks a free space to begin. Grow, make dungeons, eat people, what dungeon minds do, basically. Uh, this also, this one, Lisco, finds a place with a forest, a lake, an old abbey, and a town nearby that promises lots and lots of food from dying adventurers. Dying in the dungeon he is going to make. And dot, dot, dot. Um, short and sweet version of this review. Essentially, this is a dungeon core story. It is not a little RPG story. And the two aren't necessarily connected all the time. A lot of dungeon core stories are libertaries because they have an RPG progression system, whether it's for the dungeon itself or the larger world. Um, this does not have an RPG progression system, though, which is a little weird, especially considering how much the author is saying this is literally G. It might be something that the author plans to add in the future. Again, this feels like a short story, uh, the first part of a short, longer short story, like um, serial story. Um, but in this short story novel, no. The Dungeon Core story itself isn't also particularly good. Um, it does have a core it, uh, that plans a dungeon and spawns monsters, uh, which is the basic, you know, uh, premise of any Dungeon Core story. Um, but it doesn't actually feel like a complete story. It feels like the beginning of something that might or might not be good at some point. But right now, this this portion of it is just like, oh, it feels like like not even the beginning setup of a, of a longer dungeon story. It feels like, oh, this is, this is like the start. So it feels very unfinished uh, in, in some respects. Um, but again, it is technically a dungeon course story. It just isn't lit RPG. Um, there are also some weird technical writing issues where for some reason, all the paragraphs um, are just one or two sentences long. And then the next, there's a double space between them, which for me was like really made it challenging to to read this right because it broke up the flow of like my vision as i'm scanning it's like sentence you know two jolly jumps and then like another sentence or two and then uh, uh, two lane jumping I'm like oh that's a choice um so looking at the author's other works this story kind of feels like it's a um it's a particular kind of right to market story um where it's like you the author releases a bunch of like short stories um and just kind of expands the story it's almost like they're they have a long shirt that kind of cut up into pieces and they just like piecemeal release them. Um, and I'm like, okay, that, that, that's definitely a choice. And again, valid about that. It, that's, that's a val completely valid decision, uh, the, the way to publish. And it works very well for some people. Um, uh, but for me, it didn't work mostly because again, this isn't actually a lit RPG story. So that's probably my biggest issue with this. And again, that might be just because that stuff comes in later, but I can only judge about what's here. So, um, dungeon world, Book number one, zero, yeah, book number one, The New Dungeon Mind with score four out of ten. Not actually, Lord of BG. Not even a particularly good dungeon core story either. <laughs>